Hello, this is an update to a movie I did earlier about how to use the Thinkorswim monkey bars that were introduced um, probably early in the beginning of 2011. This is your familiar candle chart and here we've added the study called volume profile. If we go into our edit studies here you'll see that that study is titled volume profile and I'm just using the automatic defaults. If we take that same chart and we go into style, we can choose the chart type as either monkey bars expanded, which this is, or monkey bars, which is the one on the left. Let me explain monkey bars expanded. And I use 30 minutes because if you do that, you get colors which are arranged across here. So your first um, nine 30 minute periods are going to be magenta. This pretty much corresponds with, um, it starts of course with the uh, aftermarket hours in the US. When we get to blue, the Asia market is opening up. And this is the Asia market trading. When we get to this uh, light rose color here, it's a little bit of Asia um, and it's Europe starting up. And then when we go to the fourth color, which is the gray, we still have more of Europe, but we're starting now to get into the early morning U.S. trading. And then this line, which I've drawn right here, is the first, it's covered up, but it's the first spike candle, so it shows you the open of the U.S. market. And it's clear now that this area here is U.S. market morning, and then we go to yellow, roughly U.S. market afternoon. Um, so you can, you can see very quickly, looking at your charts, when you come in in the morning, you say, well, how did we do in Asia trading time? Market was going up when Asia was trading. At least the futures were going up. The futures got very choppy when Europe opened and then they started a steady decline when the US market opened. That's how you read um, the monkey bars. Expanded. Now over here in the straight monkey bars you get uh, a market, uh, you get a volume profile which looks very similar to this volume profile study over here but instead of just seeing the blue volume bars you see who created the bars. There is, let me highlight it again, again there is where the US aftermarket trading occurred. This is where the Asia market trading occurred for the most part. Europe came in and traded in this range. And you can see the shifts from our aftermarket to Asia to Europe and then this here represents morning and afternoon trading in the US. So that's how you use the monkey bars. Um, another way that they're very useful is people are talking about Globex high and Globex low. Well it sure isn't pretty hard to read this chart and you can see that this was the Globex high and the low in front of the opening of the US market is the Globex low. So as soon as we drop below here, we are creating new lows. And if we were to move across here, we have exceeded the Globex highs. That's just an interesting way to use the monkey bars.